Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And one of my viewers had asked me to see if I could go to the Pike Lake and do some fishing there. Well, I've been trying to come up with different ideas of things to do, and to be honest, I have not been to Pike Lake much. I think I've been there a couple of times, but I've not recorded any of those times. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that, guys. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come to, well, it's actually Pike River, I'm sorry, and we're going to actually go with a total amount pike competition. So we are just doing the total amount of pike. So anything else we catch is kind of like nada. We're going to go for 30 minutes. I think we're going to go ahead with morning and winter. So we're going to keep fights going. And I'm just checking to see the depth, so it's not very deep here. And we've got the deep spots, and we are ready to go, guys. We are going to go ahead and start this. All right, we're ready to go, guys. All right, let's head off this direction. Now, I'm going to go right over here to this little hole here, because everybody else is heading for these other areas. Now, I have got myself geared up with things that Pike like. And the Green Goblin is my first one to start with, because this one has always been a good bait for Pike. But we got to remember, guys, there's usually only one Pike per hole. So when we get one, we got to move on. That's the way to beat these Pike competitions. So. And they like this up and down movement. And we're probably going to switch off different baits. I have a lot of, of different types of lures that the pike go for. So if nothing get, bites here, we'll move on because we're not going to waste any time. Nope, that didn't work. We need to scoop that out anyway. Let's give it another shot. And if we don't do anything here in the next minute or so we are going to move on we don't have time to waste guys there we go we got something all right there's our first pike and we need to move on guys Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the, to be perfectly honest, I didn't really even check to be, if this is total weight or total amount. But truthfully, I don't really care at this point. We're going to go over here to this little pond over here because it's pretty deep. And we're going to head right out here because nobody else seems to have been bothering with it. See how deep it is? It is a full 66 feet deep. So this could be the mother load, guys. This could be the mother load. Let's see here. We're going to try the green goblin to start. Green Goblin's always been good to me. I've always done very well with the pike using this particular lure. But I might switch it up if things don't come along too quickly. Because maybe they're going for something else. You never know. But I may stick around this little lake area because it doesn't look like too much is over here. 
Okay. This isn't big, whatever it is. It's a little bitty pike. Little bitty pike. So we're going to go ahead and move again. We're going to come over here a little bit. Wait a minute. Right about here. And let's go ahead and drill. I think I'm going to change lures just to mix things up a little bit. Let's see here, guys. Another good one, if I'm not mistaken. That's not it. It's the wild pink, isn't it? No. Which one was it? Uh, yeah. Caribbean blue. Caribbean blue. Actually, the Caribbean blue looks a lot like the Green Goblin, but I, it's a little bit fancier. And maybe it'll get us a little bit fancier pike. Who knows? A little bit bigger. So far, these pike are kind of small. Nothing major big here. There we go. Okay, this one seems to have gotten more of a hit and quicker. Uh, it's a perch. All right. It's not what we want, so we're going to try this again. I don't think I put a lure in there. If we get another perch, then we're obviously going to be changing our lure to something different. There's a lot of lures here for pike, guys. Lots of lures. Lots of different types of lures. We've got spoons. We've got spinners. Hmm. Okay, guys, rainbow trout. That's not gonna. That's not gonna fit the bill here. We're gonna have to come up with something different here. So we gotta change lures. All right, let's go on to something different. And I think it's berry porridge. Yes, see, it's second on the list, pike. We'll try this one. See, since we haven't caught the pike out of this hole yet, we're still good for pike. Still good for pike. Now this is also good for chub, but chub tend to be in a little more shallow water, so it shouldn't be an issue. I think this might be our pike, guys. This one's a little bit bigger. Ah, tench. Oh boy, this isn't going too good. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it one more try. This might just be a spot for tench and rainbow trout and stuff. You never know. Sometimes the pike just aren't there. Normally I'd be thrilled to death to catch a tench. Yeah, I wish they had a few more competitions for some of these other species. Well, guys, looks like it's tench is what we're catching here. We're going to have to move on. We've tried two different lures that are good for pike, and we are not catching anything but tench, which normally, and rainbow trout, normally that'd be great. But right now, not so much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. 
to this part of the lake. I'm going to go over to the entrance here. Not quite so deep. This is looking like they're in shallower water. Don't forget the headwaters since they're predator fish. We might have a little more luck. We'll start with this one. We'll just give this one a shot to start off with. There are a lot of others that we can work with. But since it's already set up, we might as well start with this one. About ready to go. Whoops. About ready to go back to the Green Goblin because I was doing really well with the Green Goblin. But I wanted everybody to see some of the other lures that could be used for pike. There we go, guys. That was a good hit. I'm pretty sure this is a pike. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we just need to get in the right spot. But we gotta move. <laughs> pike being what they are, we gotta keep moving. So I think what we'll do is we'll head over this way just a little bit. Not too far. Alright, let's change our lure again. This time I think we're going to go with Danger Zone. Danger Zone is a good pike lure, and it's a spinner. Haven't used it very much. I just purchased it recently, so kind of interested to see how well it does. I mean, in theory, it's supposed to be a good one for catching pike. We'll find out if it really is. So far, I still just seem to be leaning towards the Green Goblin. All right, we got something, but I don't know that it's a pike. Nope, it's a tench. Okay, so we need to go. Let's do this, guys. We're going to try this. Just to make sure, we're going to go back to my favorite lure for pike. And we're going to see if I can catch that pike with this. And I swear to God, if I do, I think I'm going to be sticking with it. Guys. Nope, it's a whitefish. <laughs> what is... All right, I am not catching them here. Let's see. We'll try one more time, and then we're going to move on. Maybe we need to go to a different spot. We are moving on. All right, we're going to head over here. Towards this headwater here, area here. Looks like I got somebody else who's already thought of this. All right, let's get this going. See if we can find our perch in this hole. There we go. Okay, whatever that was, it bit pretty hard. Of 
There we go. There's our pike. All right, we got to move again. Follow the pike. What we'll do is we'll move up a little bit. We'll drill a little bit further in. And we'll follow the stream. I just know there is a big, big pike waiting for me. Whoa! Damn, that's got to be one of the biggest rainbow trout I've ever pulled out of there. But it's not my pike. So we may need to go a little bit deeper. Let me see here. This may be too shallow. Obviously, the rainbow trout like this green goblin. I'm gonna have to remember. Have to remember that for this Pike River, if I ever want to do a rainbow trout competition. Okay, I don't think that's a trout. There's our pike. There is our pike. We are good. All right, we're going to have to move again. All right, let's go up a little bit more. Doing the pike hop. <laughs> Hopping from place to place. We might get some more rainbow trout, but that's, that's alright. As long as we know there's pike in the area. But you can definitely tell when it's a pike and not a rainbow trout. Okay, this may be something else. It's whatever is not big. No, it's a pike. It's a pike. Pike's a pike's a pike. Good old green goblin. I swear you never fail me, my friend. You never fail me. Alright, we're going to go right over here to this bend. And then I'm going to go over to those rocks. Let's get this going. See if we can't get us another pike. Oh, this is tiny, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a little bitty whitefish. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Is that that cute little whitefish? Alright, we're going to try this again. Yes, but where there are white fish, you little pain in my butt. Where there are white fish, there are predators, and the must be a pike somewhere in there looking for them. All right, we're getting a little slushy here, guys, just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to move here because. I haven't really had a whole lot of luck in this particular hole. We have just enough time to go south because it looks like there's some good spots down there.
Yeah, I think we're going to move on, guys. This is not producing much. All right, let's see. Oh, pfft. it's very hard to get yourself oriented in this game sometimes. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to head down. So far I've gotten six pike. I don't know how that compares to the other players in this game, but we'll see. Uh, it looks like this place has already been fished quite a bit. But not here. Let's check right here by this dock. Green Goblin does this any good? If I might switch over to the pink one I was using earlier. I did pretty good with that one too. Yep, I thought I was getting a bite. I thought I was getting a bite, but I was too slow. There we go. Okay, I think we got us a pike this time. Yep, there he is. There he is. There's our pike. Alright, let's pull it up and let's go down just a little bit further. Not too far. Right here is good. We still got four molts. We're still good. if we can get one more just to make sure that we're good. A couple more would be better, but I'm not sure that's going to happen, guys. We're going to just do the best we can. There we go. I'm thinking that's a pike, just by the way it attacked. Whoa! No, but that is like the biggest rainbow bow trout I have yet to re... Oh, he's nice. I mean, I have to even mention something about that. That that was an awesome rainbow trout. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some trout fishing here, guys. That's that I have. Like I said, I haven't fished here much. I did not realize there were so many rainbow trout. That's so. That's another box. Oh, it's an asp. Hmm. Well, so far we're getting everything but the pike. <laughs> getting a lot of slush build up here. All right, guys, looks like it's over. We're not going to push our luck, even though we're fairly close to the starting gate. I have done that too many times. Looks like everybody else is already here. I think I've gotten six, so I don't know if that's going to compare or not, guys. So as soon as everybody gets here, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, it's looking like everybody's here. We're just waiting to see who won. Really could be anybody's game. These number ones, it's a little different. Oh, 
I tied. I tied. I still got first place. I got the same amount of fish, but I got greater weight. And I got the biggest fish. The rainbow trout was the biggest fish. You know, I'm just curious, guys. Just to see. So I basically won. I just tied for winning. I'm just curious on the leaderboard. How the biggest rainbow trout? Oh. <laughs> so I'm not even anywhere close. I am position 114. <laughs> not wonderful, but not bad. I wonder if I still have the one for bluegill. Because I did have number four for that. And I still do. 4.06 pounds. I'm very pleased with that one. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>